research. Today, we will briefly introduce this project we have completed, Trojan Map. I'm Li Zhen, and my teammate is Gepi. We have completed all the functions required by this project and have additional UI design. First, you need to run the marine program that is under the Trojan Map CC file. For the autocomplete part, the user is required to enter a location prefix, not case sensitive, because we have converted the parameter name used to lowercase in advance, and then traverse all the nodes on the map one by one to check whether it is the same as the user input, and finally get the result. Obviously, this time complexity is on. For the get position part, we need to get the position of the result obtained in the first part. It is still traversing all the node names to find the node with the same result as the autocomplete part. The worst case is to find it from one to n. So the time complexity is still on. For the next part, my teammate will continue to present. So the next part is calculate the shortest path using Dijatra. Uh, basically, we use this data structure um, to calculate the shortest path, especially the priority queue, which is a minimum heap um, to expand the nearest nodes uh, from a start node. Uh, it's the same as uh, the, from the discussion. The time complexity is V multiple V plus E. The V is number of nodes. The E is number of edges. For the Berman fold, we use the same same data structure as uh, the Jetra, except the uh, minimal heap. We use the dynamic programming to update the short distance from every node to start node, and the preview vector and reverse reverse function to uh, get the shortest path. The time complexity is O E multiple V. Uh, next is the trolling Trojan. First, we use the push force method. Uh, basically, uh, it's the, uh, the permutations problem using DFS. So for each permutation, uh, it's a possible path, and we calculate the path distance and update the global optimal distance. Um, the time complexity is seen as a permutation problem, which is a uh, factorial of n. And uh, for the trolling Trojan using two OBT, uh, basically we use two index i and g and then reverse elements between index and index G to generate new paths, and then uh, cal calculate the new path details and to update the uh, current path until no improvement. We may no, no, not get the global um, optimal one because it's a heuristic optimization algorithm. So for cycle detection, uh, we use uh, DFS with no recovery and uh, use this if statement to uh, detect cycle and um, use preview vector to get cycle nodes. So the time complexity is on. For, for the delivery Trojan, which is a topological sorting problem, we use adjacent list representation and uh, maintain in degree map and the queue to uh, expand nodes from, uh, expand nodes whose in degree is zero and the time complexity is E plus V. Uh, for the UI, uh, maybe we can um, see the, the demo project. For the UI design, we call the nurses library to make different entries have different colors. It is a very interactive and elegant. As for me, I have never touched this language before. Through this project and the whole course, I learned the basic steps and methods of C++ language programming, developed my own logical thinking ability, and cultivated the ability to analyze and solve problems. Okay, for me, um, before this course, uh, I'm familiar with this structure and algorithm, but not C++. But after this course, uh, I can say I can solve the coding challenges. Uh, using C++, especially the STL, STL, the standard time library. I think this course is very useful and I will recommend this course to other uh, classmates. Uh, that's all about our presentation.
多久？我怎么找不到？我靠！没关系，就还剪了，是吧？